Okay, YouTubers, this is The Angry Prepper. Today's video, we're gonna talk about what 2022 might bring. 2022, almost like a tongue twister. Anyway, there's gonna be a lot of shit that's gonna go down this year, as the year before and the year before that, guys. The year 2021, a lot of shit went down. 2020, 2020 a lot of shit went down. And this year, it's gonna be no exception. There's gonna be a lot of shit uh, to go down this year. Uh, a lot of the things that we're going to start to hear about is going to piss us off in preparation for when they enact it down the line. Now, for those of you that saw my live stream the other night, I said that they're going to start talking about air travel restrictions and mandates very soon. That conversation is popping up again. Earlier this year, they started talking about mandating customers, if you will, or air travelers to be inoculated to get on a plane. Now, the airline industry, I think, is against it because that's going to cut deep into their pockets because a lot of us will be like, fuck it, we'll drive or walk, you know, or fly a kite or some shit. Who knows? But nonetheless, we're not, a lot of us are not going to comply to that and we're going to have other means to get to where we need to get to. Um, but they are going to get more people on board with that if they enact it. But I definitely see them talking about it heavily in the first part of the year and possibly at the second part of the year enacting uh, or mandating rather sorry that you have to be inoculated to get on a plane and if that doesn't work they're gonna make you get inoculated and test before you get on a plane see these are edge travel mandates and restrictions that are going to be coming down the line real soon and to boot even if you're inoculated even if you tested positive before you got on a plane you still have to wear your mask okay so now it's the triple threat but they don't give a fuck because they're just doing this to complicate our lives then you have state or interstate travel restrictions and mandates, meaning to, for me, for example, to go to Jersey, which is right behind me, as a crow flies, it's less than a mile. Or rather, it is a mile right across the river. And for me to go to New Jersey, I have to be inoculated to go across or possibly test positive before I go to New Jersey, which I frequent all the time, or Connecticut, which is up north for me. So... I could see them talking about that a little more. That conversation is definitely going to pick up uh, probably within the next couple of weeks. I mean, if not the next couple of months, that talk is going to pick up. Whether or not they enact it, I think that's going to be incredibly hard to do just because who's going to sit there and check vaccination cards and or IDs or your phone, digital passports, unless, unless Easy Pass gets involved. And Easy Pass act, acts as your vaccine passport so when you go into jersey if it triggers the alarm cops will pull up behind you and ask you what are you doing here you're unvaccinated go back to new york they'll give you a pass a couple of times before they start giving you a fine and before they start locking you up again that's just a prediction that's not saying it's going to happen i'm just saying i could definitely see them trying to figure it out by doing something like that also having the national guards and troopers on board and a lot of Troopers probably won't be on board with that. A lot of National Guardsmen might be. Uh, we have to wait and see. But I could definitely see them trying to enact that in states like New York or New Jersey, you know, the liberal states. I could definitely see them trying to go along with that. I definitely see more lockdowns. Last year, you would ask me if there were more lockdowns coming. I would have been like, ah, eh, I don't know. I'm not sure. But now I'm a little more certain that we're definitely going to see more lockdowns this year. We have teachers asking for in-home learning because they don't want to be around the kids even though they are inoculated. And they fought to get inoculated. Now they're just looking for a fucking reason to not go to school. So this is them pushing back. You have a lot of people who are being wiped out by this new variant, the, the Omicron. And if this one from France is as bad as they say it is, then we could definitely see more lockdowns, at least here in the liberal cities of New York, Chicago, Detroit, uh, what is that place? Fucking New Jersey right next to me, sorry. LA, right? We could definitely see it throughout the cities. I don't know about statewide, but definitely cities and towns, I could see them doing it. Um, we're definitely gonna see, not definitely, but we're most likely gonna see lockdowns this year. That's just it, guys. The more they scare people with these variants, the more they scare people with these, you're gonna get sick, instead of like, you're gonna die. Now it's like, well, you're gonna get very sick. And people are getting scared that way. I'm like, 
what the fuck? How did this happen? How do people get terrified of getting sick? It's one thing to die, to scare people into dying. You're like, holy shit, I don't want to die. You know, I get it. I get it. So they run and get the, the, the shot. But now they're scaring people and they're getting sick. And people are like, fuck it. The only thing left is a lockdown. It keeps us away from everyone. Now, the MTA can't afford another lockdown. They have another lockdown, they're fucking screwed. I think the MTA would implode if there is another lockdown. So they're trying their best not to, but they are being pressured from outside sources, George Soros, and the alike, the elites, sorry, to shut down again. We are definitely going to see China attack and or evade Taiwan. We're definitely going to see Russia and the Ukraine go at it this year as well. Well, and I don't want to say definitely, Seth. We will most likely see it. Sorry. Definitely means it's going to happen. Most likely is it can go either way. The Ukraine and Russia can work out a deal right now and all bet and, and everything is good. Taiwan is not backing down from China, even though Taiwan knows they're going to lose that invasion. They know it. But if China invades Taiwan, that's going to make it very, very tough for us and the relations with China that's already uh, stricken. Our relations with China right now is bad, and it's only going to get worse if they do that. So we're definitely, we're definitely going to see some shit if China invades Taiwan. Food shortages are definitely going to be a bigger issue this year, especially if we have a shitty weather pattern this year. If we have a shitty weather pattern this year, guys, and farms get destroyed through rain, tornadoes, uh, hell, if we have a bad hurricane season, we're going to see a lot of farms take it, you know, bite the bullet. And if we have a dry season, so if we don't get enough rain, but we get too much heat or we get a heat wave, then more farms are going to be destroyed on that end. So farms could go from flooding so that their seeds don't grow to being extremely dry through a heat wave. That can definitely happen as well. I'm not saying it's going to happen, but I'm saying we're definitely going to see more food shortages. We're seeing it now. But if we have a shitty uh, season, farming season, if you will, it's going to get even worse. Still, we're definitely going to see a food shortage. And I did see this at my local supermarket, which wasn't there the week before. They are saying that the global uh, supply chain is causing them hardship as well and that they, we're going to see a lack of food or out of stock food on the shelves. I'm paraphrasing. But you guys are reading it for yourself. So we're definitely going to see food shortages, guys. And my answer to that is keep putting shit away. If you have to travel a little further away from home to go food shopping, so be it. If it gets bad here, I'm going to go upstate Westchester, Jersey somewhere, even Long Island to go food shopping. But uh, do I see it getting that bad this year? I see it getting noticeably bad where people are like, holy shit. I won't, we won't see the bottom drop out if this food shortage continues. We won't see the bottom drop out till next year. But we're definitely starting to see the signs this year. And we are all, most of us, sorry, are seeing less food on the shelves. And as far as New York City goes, guys, New York City, as of yesterday, or New Yorker stand, not New York City, but New Yorker stand, introduced eight bills that are uh, extremely bad. And I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go over a couple of bills, not all of them, but the main, the heavy hitter bills of one bill is for kids over the age of 14 to get vaccinated with any vaccine that they want without, parent to, without parental consent. Another, another one is, another bill, sorry, is college students being vaccinated before they go back to school this fall. Uh, kids from pre-K to 12th grade being vaccinated before they go back to school this fall. And the, this is a more important one. The vaccine data being collected and handed over to the state so that the state can tell or know who's vaccinated and who isn't. I think that's one of the more important ones because now they're tracking us wherever they go. And how they finalize that tracking is by forcing everyone to put their information in their digital passport. Right, so these are the things that are gonna come this year. And these are maybes and mites, guys. These are not definites. Uh, and then we have the curveballs. We always have curveballs every year. We always have some shit that pops up and we're like, whoa, we didn't see that coming. So we definitely have curveballs. Curveballs you have to look out for, but curveballs, guys, all you can do with that is adjust on the fly. That's it. 
All right, guys, so other than that, this is The Angry Prepper. Thank you for watching. You can like and subscribe to this channel. You can also follow me on the Angry Truth channel and the Angry Lensman channel. And other than that, guys, thank you for watching.